Hello guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use the Pathfinder tool in Inkscape. Now the Pathfinder is actually a very new tool in Inkscape. So basically what it does is it can combine two paths together without necessarily using Union. Union, you could use Union but in a way, if you're not that skilled at it, you won't know how to use it well. And when I talk of Union, I'm simply coming to Path up here and clicking on Union. That's just to combine two objects together. But as you must have seen from other YouTube videos, the Pathfinder is actually different because it merges objects in a way that you want. So I'll be showing you how to make the logo that I showed you on the thumbnail with Inkscape. So with that said, let's get right into it. Alright, so... Alright, so you want to get a square from here and you want to draw something like this. And then later on you want to make it a little bit round so it can look like the top there. And then you can remove the fill and add some stroke to it. And then now we're going to draw a circle. Make sure that the circle fits in here. Or even if it doesn't, I mean yeah I'll just let it be like that and then you're going to need another smaller circle to activate the circle in Inkscape the shortcut to use is E you just press E on your keyboard that's the latest version of Inkscape I don't know for the older ones or the ones that are still to be released but you can press E or F5 for that yeah and then you draw another circle right up here All right, then you put that there. All right, so basically, and this is how easy it gets. So we're done with this part. Now you select everything and you go to path and you turn that stroke into a path. So basically all of this now, you can now change the color without necessarily going to stroke. See, if I were to add another stroke, it would add a stroke on top of that stroke that I've converted to a path. You can see that now see it has a different color from that so basically what we want to do is we don't want to add any stroke anymore we just want to select all and click on the pathfinder tool here all right so basically as you can see this is what I'll be doing so I'll zoom in for a better view and then you know what? just before we do this I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to drag this over here oops Sorry. Alright, so you duplicate that and you pull it to one side. You'll see why I'm doing that in a bit. Now, X is the shortcut for the Pathfinder tool in Inkscape. So now you can click and hold and you can just pull down. And then I think you can allow it at this point. Yes, you can. You can allow it at this point. But what I'll do is I'll zoom in and click that point and I'll click on finish. Alright, so this is that handle. And then later on what we'll do is we'll select this other one again. You see why I duplicated it right? So very mistake. Alright. So basically the reason for this other smaller circle up here was to make this one look a little bit different. Not a perfect circle. So basically what we wanted was this, pull it in and you do this, yep, and you finish, and when you're done with that, you can just pull that here, I think there's going to be a problem, is with this guy, alright, so to fix that, you can just do this, Make this guy bigger right there. Perfect. And then select everything and press X once more. And I think this should work now. So basically, as you can see, edited. Now I will be able to use, I'll use the color palette that I put here. So basically, this one, I want it to have a gradient kind of look. And that's the stroke. No. You want a fill that's a gradient. 
So basically we want a heavier side down here. We will click. What I've used here is called the dropper. You can use it to pick colors from images and put on a design you're, you're designing. And uh, this other one, I think, was this last color. It's perfect. And that, and we pull that down. We do another gradient color, and we do this. Okay. And we do that. No, not that. Do the thick one. And now we do this. Alright guys, I'm just going to change the color here for a bit. Alright, as you can see, this is basically the logo. It's not quite the same, but yeah, it's it looks like it. Alright, so I'm pretty sure that with that, you can be able to do yours. And the font that I use for Boom Studio, let me show you that. So I reduce the line spacing there and to show you the font, the font is called downlink and basically there we go, there you have it, boom studio. Alright, thanks guys, see you in the next video and if you like what you saw, you can subscribe to my channel for more content like this.